Here's something you may not have been aware of. You can now use Surecart to accept payments for your late point bookings. I want to do a quick walkthrough of it. There's not a whole lot to show you, but I want to show you some of the nuances, um, hopefully some of the things that would improve a little bit in the future and some of the things that are coming soon. So to get started, what I want to do is I want to put together a quick bundle. I know that's it's actually like a two for one video here. Bundles were one of the things that I originally really wanted back in the day when late point came out and I haven't made a whole lot of late point videos kind of been in a state of flux uh, with my late point setup, particularly because of my WordPress setup here. Um, but I did want to show you bundles and we're going to set one up so I can show you how that actually works with the shirt cart add on. So I'm going to create a bundle really quick. You can create a product, whatever it is in late point that you're selling. I'll just call this my uh, three call bundle and I'm going to choose the included service, which is a tech help call. And I'm going to put the bundle quantity to three. So now what I've essentially done is I've taken um, a call that could have cost $225 each uh, and then given a discount down to 570 if they book three at one time. So I'll save my bundle. There's my bundle right there. And now I'm going to go and make sure that I've got my Surecart add-on set up correctly. So I'm going to go to add-ons and I'm going to make sure two things are going to happen. One, if you haven't used late point in a while, you may actually need to go into your account in late point, go to, oh, I guess it's the main dashboard, scroll down and download the pro features add on. They've changed the way that their setup works. So you need to get the pro features add on, install that. And then under settings, premium features, you're going to want to make sure that you have uh, activated your license key here. Then you'll go to your add ons and the add on section will actually appear for you here. Pro features will be active because you've installed the pro features add on. You want to scroll down and you want to enable Surecart. Now with Surecart enabled, we can go to our payments section and we can go to enable payments. Now under payments, we can toggle on Surecart. You can enable Stripe Connect if you want to, but this would be the old version of your checkout. And I, I found that it makes more sense to not let them choose their different checkout methods because you could actually check them out with WooCommerce. You can check them out with Surecart, a bunch of different options. Um, but I, for our setup here, it just it feels like it makes more sense um, just having the one enabled. So that's what I've done. Now, you'll want to change uh, the name of your product from late point booking. That seems kind of strange here. I'll change this to calls or tech help calls, or if you do a bunch of different kind of calls, you're going to want to choose a um, product name that is, uh, I would say a little bit more generic. So we could call this calls with Doug or you know whatever you want to call it. I'll call it calls with Doug. Now for the confirmation page, you can choose to open a late point confirmation pop-up or the default Surecart success page. I think that actually makes a lot of sense to do the default Surecart one, um, but we'll leave it as the late point one. Um, so now I've technically already created this. I'm just gonna hit regenerate and that's gonna regenerate my product page because I changed the name. All right, so that's all set up and I can actually click this little button here next to the created and it'll open in a new tab, the Surecart product that they've created. You can actually see here, it didn't update the name. So I'm gonna, um, that could be a bug. I'll hit regenerate again. It says, are you sure you wanna regenerate the product? Uh, yeah, let's do that. I'll go to my products here. And this is part of what I wanted to show in the video. There's still a little bit of finickiness with it. Um, but if you, and you can see it actually generated too. So it didn't actually change the name. Okay, so it did actually, each time I click the button, it created a new one for me. So I'm just going to keep um, the newest one that it created and I'll just delete the other two just to not cause any problems. Um, but I'm glad this actually happened in the video to show you that there is still some work to be done here um, and that you're going to perhaps run into these same issues and you can use this video as a reference point to solve them. Um, so it did create the product called late point, late point booking, um, but we're going to make a tweak to this. We'll just call it um, calls. And instead of late point booking price, you're going to want to change this because this will show on the cart. You can call it call booking price. You can update these words to whatever you want them to say. So I'll call mine like booking package and then I don't know, this should have been call package price, whatever. You get the idea. So we've got those created now. We've got our product, so, so to speak, created. Let's come back into our late point. And now technically we've done everything we need to do. We have our uh, product created, our bundle, or our service created, our bundle created where we've bundled our services. And now we're going to sell it inside a shirt cart. Okay, so I've created a page on my website and I'm going to add in a block. And if you're not using the block, you're gonna to have to use the short code, short code builder. I'm gonna open up the blocks here. I'm gonna search for late point. I'm gonna drop in a booking form. And with the booking form selected on the right-hand side, I've got some options. 
and there's a lot of them. I'm just going to show you the basic ones. So we're going to go under step settings. I'm going to pre-pick myself because that's the only thing that makes sense on my site or the pre-selected service. I'm just going to let the customer pick the service because that'll let them choose a bundle. Uh, that's one thing that I found um, particularly on this setup here. Um, if you choose tech help call, in my case, I have a service called tech help call. If I pre-select that and I hit save, let's go ahead and preview it and I'll show you a little distinction here. If I pre-select the service, you can see they're just getting the, the, the one service, not the bundle. But if I come back here and I say customer will pick and I save my draft and preview that again, then you can see they can choose the single call or bundle and save. And you can change some of the stuff under customization. Um, but I'll choose bundle and save and I'll choose the three call bundle here. And you're still gonna be able to enter in your contact information. What I like about this is that uh, Late Point remembers who the contact is. It keeps this part in your Late Point booking. Uh, it's not necessarily tied to uh, the checkout per se inside of Surecart. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit next on this. And then we'll go and see here, it gives a breakdown. They can add more to this order if they wanted to. They could click in there and they could say, you know what, I want four calls. I'm getting a single call and a three call bundle. And this is actually kind of cool. I can book my one call now. I'll just choose one random time. Book my one call now, but then I'm gonna buy three additional calls that I can book anytime. Um, so I'll just hit check out. That was the one part that I feel like could improve a little bit. It just went a little slower than I would have liked it to. I just wish, I wish it was instantaneous. It's not, but regardless, it works pretty okay here. Uh, so basically here's the, the total purchase. It basically took the words we put in here, booking package and call booking price. I probably would have removed this wording and just called it booking package. Um, but essentially it took the three call bundle for 570 and the single call for 199, put them into a single, um, checkout so to speak almost like adding these things to cart so that what you're seeing here is just the gosh i don't even remember when i made this this is just my old default sure cart checkout here on this demo site um, so essentially you can customize this page to look like whatever you want with your default sure cart checkout i want to reiterate that your default sure cart checkout can be customized and this is what it's going to use with the sure cart product it made inserting the the names that you edited on that product. Now, really quickly, I want to go back and put this into test mode so that we can test the checkout. All right, we're going to walk through this process now. I'm going to pick up the three call bundle. I'm going to put in a name here and we're going to see how it populates over to the Surecart form. So I'll just put uh, late point and last name test and I'll do uh, test. Uh, and by the way, this add comments field is a custom field I added a long time ago to uh, late point. You can customize whatever fields you want to get from somebody. Um, we're going to add another one just because um, that's what we did before. And I wanted to show you again how those things get brought over. Select our two products. Click checkout. It's taking us over to the Surecart page. I wish it was instantaneous, but it does do this redirect feel. And I've gone ahead and I've uh, removed the password field that I had on here to streamline it. And I also removed that extra little text just so you can see it's a booking package. Uh, one thing I would probably change would be to remove, and this is customizable on the form itself, remove the ability to remove things from this cart. At this point, when they reach this point, you just want them to proceed. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, process with the test credit card. And you'll remember we left it so that it uses the late point uh, pop-up. All right, we're gonna hit test processor uh, and see what happens here with our, our checkout. Now this is actually the Surecart pop-up from the Surecart form that you'd configure. And I've got videos on how to do all of that. Um, so if I click this button, it's obviously just gonna take me to the, the homepage of my site here. So really what that's showing me is that it's overriding the late point uh, option that we selected. So coming back in here uh, on the confirmation, open late point confirmation pop-up, that actually didn't work in test mode. Probably will work in live mode, but you'd have to set um, you know, obviously not be in test mode to do that. So you could change this development over to live. You could save those settings there uh, and run a real test. Um, but I find that to be really, really clunky. So what I would probably end up doing is I would just say use a, a default Surecart success page for this product. You can actually come to your form here and you can go select your form and then under custom thank you page here, you would toggle that on and you would set, set a custom thank you page for them to be redirected to. Another thing I'd like to see improved is that we ran this in test mode and no appointment was pushed through, no orders were pushed through in here uh, in test mode, which is unfortunate. And also no order came through for sure cart either. The whole setup feels a little wonky there. So you're gonna need to do this in live mode for any of this data to actually populate. Another thing I noticed uh, in the sure cart add-on documentation here for late point was that refunds via sure cart is coming soon. 
a little interesting. So right now you would do all the, basically the, the refunds via the late point interface rather than the sure cart interface, um, which is interesting because I think that explains why the payment didn't show up in sure cart right now. And I think this is interesting because late point was actually what determined whether this was in uh, test mode or not. And so when I, or development mode, I guess is what it's called. So I put the payments in development mode in order to get SureCart to recognize the transaction in test mode. And what that did was that actually stopped the transaction from even showing up. Like I showed you, the transaction didn't show up inside of SureCart at all um, while it was in develop mode inside of late point. So it's almost like they're kind of hijacking the checkout of SureCart, but pushing the data into late point and it won't go there in test mode in this setup. I don't know if any of that's intended, but I'm bringing this up because I want uh, you to be aware of it. If you're setting up and going with this route, you're gonna wanna do some live mode testing to make sure everything's working for you. So that's really all there is to show with the SureCart payment processor add-on for late point. It technically works. Live mode is where you're gonna see the best results. If I were you, I would do a test purchase uh, as well as perhaps a free call set up and run that through on your setup first to make sure you've got your confirmation page process or late point confirmation pop-up process all set up. And then make sure you watch out for some of those like funky nuances where sometimes if you hit this regenerate button a couple times, it's going to make more pages. Just be aware of all of that and aware of these like little finicky issues that hopefully they iron out. But if you did not like the, the late point checkout process, which I got a lot of feedback in my own membership that people just did not like the way it was laid out. You can now use SureCart to process those transactions and create essentially whatever looking checkout experience you want. However, it does take them out of that booking ecosystem, which I have to say the redirecting to checkout. If I were to make my choice, I would rather keep it all inside of late point than redirect to SureCart. That's just me. So real quick, what are the benefits here? Um, pros and cons. So cons, a little bit janky, takes you out of that booking ecosystem experience. They leave the modal or the little booking section, redirect to checkout. Um, that's a con. Those are the cons. The pros here are that because we're using a SureCart product, we can now do other things using Sure triggers, using um, SureCart itself. You can set integrations at the product level. So here's an example. The product here is created and that's actually another little feedback i'd like to have the option to set multiple surecart products and then select which surecart product is used for which service and late point so for example let's say anyone that booked a call with me i wanted to add an integration and i wanted to add them to a uh, sure members uh, access group or um, give them access to downloads or you know add them to a course in Learn Dash or whatever it might be. That would be a pretty cool functionality, but right now it's kind of just, you have one integration, one checkout page uh, or product rather, uh, and it just uses whatever you can set in the single product. So I'll let you weigh the pros and cons and decide if it's the right setup for you. Obviously it's nice to have options, but I'd be curious to see what you think about it and how it works for you and the types of things that you're able to do using SureCart as the payment processor, so to speak, uh, rather than just the default late point Stripe integration.